Okay, there we go. So, uh, yeah, Christmas, uh, so I'm here with Zellrog, I'm streaming for once, and I, uh, oh, you wanna, you wanna join in? Give me a second. More the merrier. Hello. Uh, how do I just, how do I invite somebody to call? Do I just, uh, hit call, or do no, do I have, I have to do a group call, don't I? Uh, yeah, I can try to add him. Okay. No, maybe I don't have... I thought I had Darian as a friend. Darian, we're not friends. Wait, hold on. Oh, there's a already a group set up. Give me a second. Almost like I planned this. Hello. Hey, you're here too. We're all, we're all, we're here together. We're doing a, we're doing a mystery game. You should all go to the stream now, so I can show, so I can show off the first, the video, the the opening cutscene because the the OBS doesn't want to record it for some reason. All right, here here it is. You told me this is an older game. Yes, it is an older game. I mean, all right, here we go. Oh, I gotta actually select the file. Alright. Oh, actually, hold on. I, I, I'm, I'm out of order. I, I need you, Zelrog. I, there's a, there is something I want you to read, which is from the game's manual. Okay, I will read something from the game's manual. Yes, and whatever voice you, body of text. In whatever voice you feel, you feel would best suit it. Here you go. When I sleep, I dream the same dream. I dream I'm dying. Every night I watch myself die as if I'm the killer. And as I kill myself, I experience happiness and joy. But as I die, I scream in horror and fear. Every night I dream the same thing. As, a, as the nights go on, I get scared. I really shouldn't have any fear of dying, for I dwell within the nirvana of heaven. And I've walked in the valley of death. But maybe this isn't a dream. Bob. Bob. The manual. Bob. <laughs> All right. Okay, now let's uh, let's play let's uh, play the cutscene, the intro cutscene. Capturing? Ah, it's not capturing. Hold on. It's not decide. It's deciding not to do this thing, not to capture. It's weird because oh, here we go. I had the wrong one selected. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Team Ego. Yeah, this is Shiny, by the way, the Earthworm Gym people. So that's the name of the game right up there. <laughs> that's the name of the game. I'm not kidding. Bob. Yeah? I've got something for you to do today. What? I want him to clean up something for me. That doesn't sound like fun. Actually, it should be a pretty big job. Why would I want to do that? Because I want you to. And I think it would build character. I got enough character. Couldn't someone else do it? I'm sending you to Earth. It's in sad shape, and I'm hoping you might straighten it up a little. I'd rather not. Yeah, enjoy your trip. <laughs> I'm going. Lenny, take your mom to the hospital. If it's an emergency, take her now. Okay. He's like, oh, don't worry about it. No, 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 no. She's up. She's asleep right now. He calls me up two hours before the shift. He makes me come on. Really? Of course, I gotta come in. This is the second night in a row I gotta work for that guy. So this is a PC game. Yes. From when? You know what else I heard? Two thousands. I heard that the Father Prime has some scientist goons trying to open up a doorway to another dimension. Can you believe that? It's crazy. <laughs> another dimension. Jeez. Who do they think they are? What? What? Another dimension. Another this is anti doom. <laughs> this is mood. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mood.
Uh, so that's uh, that's the intro to the game. Uh, what do you what do you think the what what genre do you think the game is? Uh, shooter. Okay. Are we are we a baby that possesses soldiers? Uh, body yeah. hops. Yes, actually, this is a game. So the name of the game is Messiah. Yes, that is the name of the game. Did you actually were you actually able to read it? Or uh, just... yeah, but no, I accidentally glanced at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's how. I Let me know if you see the footage because this this uh. This is an older game, and it's kind of grouchy. I got this off... I actually own this on uh, GOG. Because, uh, believe it or not, I actually played this game when I was way younger. Like, 10. Oh, okay. You see, you see the menu? You can't spell Messiah without mess! Yeah, we see it. Alright, good. This is uh, extremely... I, I'm getting ricochet flashbacks. <laughs> this is shockwave as hell. So that's... <laughs> So, the, the people who did the music is a group called Fear Factory. I don't know if you've heard of them. I have heard of them. Okay. I have. I know a game that they did the soundtrack. To, I can't remember yeah, it was it, it was Messiah. No, they they've done other ones. I will look that up. I know that because Road Rocket show shared with me one of their soundtracks, which means it must be a racing game. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Philip, you okay? They've done a uh, Carmageddon soundtrack. What the hell was uh, that? Demolition oh, Racer. God, that's it. A lot of sports games. Yeah, I'm lots a lot of sports cop. games. I'm a cop. Son of a bitch, my back hurts. Can you smell something? Their most recent one was in Sleeping Dogs. I'm all the way back in 2012. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna turn the volume on this a bit down. Did that? I are following with you three over on a little bit of a delay. Yeah. That did nothing. <laughs> that. <laughs> Wise to you. <laughs> All right, hold on. And because it's a, an old game, you're not gonna be able to access the Windows like sound panel without it crashing. No, it's it's fine. This is GOG uh, version, which means they they patched out some of the more unsavory. All right, I cut it down by seventy five percent. Let's see if that fixed it. Okay, yeah, I can actually hear you guys now. All right, so you're much louder than we are. Oh. Sorry, give me a second. I'll fix that. Don't worry, I'll fix that. I'll just alt tab out. <laughs> this... All right. I think I fixed it. How do I sound now? Uh, Guy I guys, think it's good. I'm All hearing right. ten voices at once between the actual call and the stream, so I'm trying to. All right. Okay. I, th I think it's good. All right, I'm back now. So this things overheating here. So this doors will either open automatically when they sense your presence, or you'll have to operate them manually. Do you so? Stand in front of the middle of the door and press your action button. So this is a uh, this is actually a platformer, not a not a first person shooter. Okay, there's no guns. Oh, there's guns. It's just uh, it's a platform shooter. Yeah, it's a platform shooter, like uh, okay. like like an early uh, Jack and Daxter or uh, Ratchet and Clank action. Gears of War. There's a lot more actual platforming than Gears of War. Yeah, I'd imagine, yeah. Alright, it's, it's fine. We'll just blow this up. You find a crowbar? What? He's got, like, uh, he's got a boxing glove fist. Yeah, this cop. Uh, so, if, so if I remember correctly. There we go. Alright, we are armed with a pump gun. What's wrong with this thing? Excuse me? That's what it's called. It's called a pump gun. What? A pump oh. gun. Oh, hold on. We're, we're getting a message. We should uh, we should answer it. You want to read that? Do the honors. Uh, you have come. 
If it's true, then my prayers have been answered. You are the one. You will set this planet free of its tyranny, and I will help you. I am in a dark place, but I can see through your eyes and the eyes of others. I will do my best to guide you by sharing what I know and what I steal from the minds of the weak. As a mortal, you must learn how to survive in this world. Become comfortable with your new surroundings. I will contact you soon and move you in the right direction. You must trust me. The past, past has been... The past has seen me at the pinnacle of this world's power, but I've been cast down and great evil has taken my place. All right, so... Who is, is... that the baby? No, we're the baby. We're... <laughs> We're Bob. That's the okay. character's name. It's Bob. Bob, Bob the, the angel. The land god. Alright, so, uh, so one of the mechanics uh, that, that exists in this game is uh, we have two separate health bars. We have the health bar of the person we're possessing and, uh, and our own personal angelic health bar. So, for instance, if I were to do something like this... Yeah, he's... This... this this game looks very Tomb Raider. Yeah, I think it was made around the same time. No, it was older than that. Okay, so... Sorry, I'm trying to remember what my depossessed button is, and I'm having trouble. The... I'm guessing this was not as successful as Earthworm Jim. Um... <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, depossess is backspace. Okay. So this is our actual... So... Uh... This is our character. Okay. This is Bob. We can Why do you kind play of... the game? It's for babies. Why do you play the baby game? So, you should uh, play the shoot game. So we can only attack as a as a uh, as a main guy, but if we try to attack as Bob, he just dance. <laughs> no, he just a little cherub. <laughs> he just points his finger and goes bang. That's okay if we if we find. Hey! You little freak, what? Get out of this area! You put to wear a hat in this area! Just pretend this is some really obscure sequel, prequel to, to Kid Icarus or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Palutena sounded different. Bob? Yeah? <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to remember how to drop stuff. There we go. Alright. Bob's just an alias. Don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, so our primary objective is to get out of this area. Uh, so possession and depossession is a very important part of uh, of this game. Uh, you can only get into certain areas as like certain bodies. Uh, yeah. So. So, our our goal is to well, like overthrow a dictatorship. Sure, that's that seems to be our goal. Okay, get the help. This kind of reminds me of a uh, Destroy All Humans, where they kind of have the same premise. You have to disguise yourself as humans to get into certain restricted areas. Yeah, this is this is kind of uh, this is kind of reminiscent of that. Um, Super Baby Odyssey. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so to demonstrate. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're now uh, we're now another cop, uh, light cop. We can't possess machines. Keep that in mind. I would imagine not. <laughs> And, uh, so... So, are there androids in this uh, future? There was a robot se selling cigarettes earlier. Telling us smoking is cool. I think you'll find Dr. Jerome here somewhere. I stopped his antics. He was in Steven Universe. Oh, yeah. What? His name was but... on a door. Oh. oh it, right. it started out as one of those cartoons it was only vaguely aware of pop culture but as it went on it, I, I guess it must have got more nerd writers because they made blatant references all right yeah <laughs> we mentioned GOG and speaking of that I don't know if you guys have been following uh, Konami uh -oh. or not I've noticed that within the past year alone they've really only done like two or three like uh oh games on Oh, shit. They're aware of my existence. <laughs> oh, so you have to keep, you have to hide the fact that you're an angel baby. Yeah. Because uh, they don't like, they don't like angels being here. Oh, I. D you call yourself the Messiah. 
No, I call myself Bob. I'm Bob. Well, actually, he didn't even call himself Bob. Bob just... All right, for reals this time. Let's, uh, let's do this right. That's not my name, chuckle fuck. You don't talk to God like that. So this game, this game uh, is, is known for being incredibly hard. <laughs> and also, it, it incredibly jank. This game is known. I know of this <laughs> game. I played this game when I was 10 years old. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this is very bizarre. What obscure oh PC God. games did I play? I guess it was the roller coaster one, and I played that already. Do you smell something? Do you smell something? So what is GOG? Good old games. It was a. Uh, it's like Steam, but uh, but it's DRM free. So I'm actually going to. Make a save now. Uh, and what I was, yeah, the, the GOG thing uh, with Konami. So the yeah. thing is, they're not really being active with like the console community or anything like that. They haven't been doing console games that much. Like their most recent works have been like Contra Rogue Core and that Skeletag game. Uh, Other than that, they've been doing some very bizarre business practices because the only games they've been releasing has been on Stadia and GOG. That's all they've been doing. Stadia? What about the new, what yeah. about the new pachinko machine? I, I don't know what's going on with that. I, as far as I know, I think that's... they all, Like, they have, like, a warehouse in Japan. Like, they have a headquarters where they keep all those pachinko machines. And you kind of just go there and you visit and you play their games there. As far as I know, that's how it works. But they, they're they just... They, I, they just don't care about consoles anymore. They're, they're focusing on Stadia and God. Yeah, that's interesting. I guess that's because uh, Sony's doing their own thing with. Uh... I make games when we can just sell our character to Smash Brothers. <laughs> we'll put in fifty songs and charge them a fortune. <laughs> this thing's overheating here. Might want to step back, welder dude. No. It's a lot of sigs. Sorry. So your characters are a welder and a soldier so far? Yeah, that's available. Then there's a scientist we have to possess in order to uh, to open up a certain section. And imagine the secrets we'd learn if we found a G-Man. Combat in this game is kind of weird. Uh oh. That's cool. So you didn't watch? I know Zara. You didn't watch the, the game awards, did you? Uh, not in the end. No. No. Jack, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. All I know. I'm aware of most of it. All right. So you you might have seen me post virtually everything in the Discord of everything that was announced. Is there That's anything that really caught your eye? Not that was announced at the game. Awards. I know that. Uh, I know that uh, they're doing another. Uh, they're doing another Left for Dead called Back for Blood. Yeah. Other people because this fucking Cause uh, Valve isn't doing anything with the IP. Yeah. They There's can't count to three. We... There's another Perfect Dark title. Yeah, oh, is there? That's, that's cool. Yep. All right. Cool. They're Ghost doing the Goblin reboot thing where it's just called Perfect Dark. Yeah, it's Ghost and Goblins. Yep, same thing with Dragon Age. They got a new Dragon Age game, and they're calling it just Dragon Age. <laughs> yeah, those wings go I was never really happy with those goblins, so... Hey, it's cool, neither was I. Hey, this... Sure. I'll help you out. And we were interested in the Mario 3D World on Switch because it's, you know, a co-op game. But we're not in the same room anymore, so that's not going to be a high priority. And it was already announced, so we knew that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you possess uh, the other scientist and tell and like go, hey, uh, I'll take over for you, and you do that to to unlock the area, then the uh, scient then the other guards kill. Oh, but the, the guy the gate's who unlocked locked. it. Yeah. All right. So now we're a scientist, which means theoretically we should be able to. Get access. I, I like how you have the solid snake run. Yeah, I'm stealthy. 
<laughs> totally normal running behavior. Hey, uh, you just, uh, you going to the office, Steve? Yep. Just... Bob was an average angel, baby, but he was a brilliant scientist! <laughs> In this form, maybe. Wait, hold on. Only scientists are allowed up here, so why are there a bunch of guards? Interesting, uh, reverse Star Trek door. Her first Star Trek door. What goes into the ground? What do you think inspired this game a lot? Um, I don't know. Cyberpunk? This game's technically cyberpunk. This was, uh... Let me look out this game. No! So every time combat starts, Fear Factory starts playing. Used by Fear Factor, hosted by Joe Rogan. <laughs> Alright, we are armed with the flamethrower now. Should be pretty good. Yay! So yeah, this game... Uh, it, uh, I, I, was, I was struck just by how bizarre this game is. It seems like just a do a spinning kick. kick. I didn't know I could do that. From what I'm oh, adding, I died. It seems like a very, uh -oh. uh, seems like a pseudo puzzle shooter game. It is a puzzle platformer. All right. Yeah, that, that's what I'm getting out of it. Yeah, I'm not. So gonna... does this have anything to do with Christmas besides just that we are an angel baby? Yeah, it, no. It, it, it... I, okay, so so uh, the other and the only other person who I'm I guess is aware of this game's existence that's notable is a uh, Ross from uh, Ross's Game Dungeon and of Freeman's Mind fame, who was like, "I'm running out of Christmas games. What 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 else is out there?" He's like, "Hey, I'll play this game." And he plays Messiah, and I'm like, "I remember Messiah." <laughs> and <laughs> March two thousand. Did I not unlock? Okay, it is unlocked. Yeah, two thousands. All right, we gotta sterilize. Cool. Characters were all animated using motion capture, with a per uh, with a person with dwarfism serving as the motion character motion capture actor for Bob. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> They, they got a dwarf to do the baby motions. Wow. Did, did, that, that, it, that, is there a listed... Oh, hold on. We're getting a message from uh, from our mysterious benefactor. Give me a second. I'm gonna laugh at this. A mad day, inhuman but... <laughs> dictator known as Father Prime is at the nucleus of this great shadow that hangs over us. Do whatever it takes to get to him. He controls the people from his technology center near the entrance to the main city. You can access the center from the laboratory that feeds it. I can lead you there, Bob, but you must stay hidden. Use the darkness and hide in the skin of others. The people of this world have no faith, and they will fear you and attack you. They are misdirected by years of oppression. You must help them despite themselves and see to the demise of Father Prime, or he will see that this planet consumes itself. It's a of the wall. Faith wall. I'm gonna save often because this game can be can be very unforgiving. I'll see into the main city, the one city on Earth. There's only one in Cyberpunk Future. It's uh, it's just a city that it that expands forever. All right. In February 1998, a couple years before the release, the Los Angeles Times reported a public outcry over the title. <laughs> of course they did. No, no surprise there. Okay. So... Oh, God. In August 1999, Interplay recorded several promotional commercials with Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf from the Howard Stern radio show. Oh. Was, he, was he the person who was, uh... Who was Bob? Oh! He would, don he would don an angel costume and wander the streets of various cities with a sign to publicly promote the game. Wait, I just... What I just, the fuck? 
I just remembered Hot. something. Yeah. Guys. Uh, does that sound familiar to you? To any of you two? Just Oof. what? Sound effect. Darian, does that sound familiar to you? Think. Okay, so uh, the famous uh, Roblox oof, they actually took it from this game. The okay. oof sound effect. I don't know that I'm familiar with the Roblox oof. Uh, I am. I, I am an adult. It sounds like a... It sounds like a little kid just going, oof. Yeah, like it's Bob. Fucking... It's Bob the Angel going, oof. Oh, yeah! I remember seeing, a, like, a trivia video about this, and it was taken from this game. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. That's where this game... See, yeah, see, wow, okay, that is ne this game. Ne love, Never let it be said that Messiah didn't didn't contribute has, to pop culture. It made an impact. It it's has. It is a footnote. One of the footnote. biggest recorded memes of today. <laughs> I, didn't wow. get to, I didn't get to that point. There was a subsequent legal dispute over the use of the oof, which led to a compensation agreement and the sound clip becoming a paid-for addition in Roblox. <laughs> Wait, fans of Roblox had to pay for the classic oof after a time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Shiny. Fans? Oh, speaking of fans, fans can help you reach higher ground. So, uh, so we can use our wings to glide on, a. Uh... Like a dragon? I, I know it's supposed to be, like, angelic sparkles, but every time he's doing his neutral standing animation, it just looks like he's drunk or about to collapse, knocked out. <laughs> like he's seeing stars. Holy... Who's saying that? Oh, I, I think I'm... I think I'm, uh... I'm, uh... I'm sequence breaking here. Let's, uh... Flappy map. There we go. So, yeah, this is I'm kind of a... The, puzzly. Looking up the cast for this game, and not, not a lot of... Not a lot of notable names here. I wouldn't be... I would be surprised if there was anybody who I would recognize. The animation looks so off. Like, it looks like an adult motion capture, but with baby proportions. <laughs> with, yeah. not, not even, like, a dwarf proportions. Baby proportions. It, the model doesn't quite fit in the motions properly. It does... He does look kind of uncanny. Uh-oh. Bob, no. So, Bob can actually heal. Uh, he can heal through by stealing the life force of the human bodies he possesses. I should- I, I feel like I should have mentioned- okay. I should mention that. So, yeah. Sorry, say that again? He, uh, if Bob is- himself is injured, then he can, uh, he can heal by stealing the life force of, uh, of the humans he possesses. It's, uh, pretty fucking evil. <laughs> no, he's a good guy. He's an angel. It's the same they had to give up their existence in order for you to be born. <laughs> it's a noble sacrifice. All right, I think I'm doing this puzzle wrong. Give me a second. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Radiation. Oh, by the way, we're in a we're in a nuclear plant, by the way. Okay, because you know, that's good. evil. Nuclear power is evil. Good for We've got level. the Eye of Sauron on the walls. Oh shit! <laughs> Those are switches. Position this fan. What were you saying, Zalog? Uh, just Jack and I started uh, watching Steven Universe together. I, I, a lot of I'm enjoying just undersold it. Undersold weirdness in the show. Yeah, this is just giant fucking eye coming for uh, for Beach City and the dad character going, mm, yeah, that's a bit creepy. <laughs> I mentioned those. Uh, those Inuyasha movies yesterday. Now, you yeah. mentioned that since... You, I haven't really watched the series that much, so obviously I probably wouldn't know what's going on in the movies. But here's my question. I assume, as is the case with most anime films, that they're not considered canonical. Either. No. Alright, we are now a radiation worker. Oh, I think I scared him. That's no, okay, I'm a friend, I'm one of you. What are some canonical anime movies? The, the recent original... Dragon Ball films are. Yeah, the 
recent Dragon Ball ones, the first Full Metal Alchemist series movie was uh, the canonical ending. But then that original series was non-canon, so... Alright. Ooh! Move! I'm trying to get to. No? Okay. Pinch him. You got a right. pincher. Yeah, I got a pincher. Planning to do a group watch of a terrible Christmas movie later this week. That'll be going up on YouTube. I'll bet we could probably stream that. Twitch I'm does uh, watch parties now, don't they? I think they do. Hmm. What's the matter with you? Okay, cool. You're, you're, you're gonna keep the name of the movie secret. It's only uh, fair. I kept the game secret. It, it doesn't I, I thought. I think I mentioned it a few times. It's called Rhapsody Street Kids. I would oh, advise not looking into it. Man. It oh, man. It is famously it. awful. It I is. love I've it. I reviews. love bad movies. I've, I've never seen the movie in full. I uh, that's gonna be very uncanny. It's, it's so fucking creepy, dude. It's really. It's not uncanny. It's just awfully animated, and yet somehow they got like major name actors in it. That's where the they entire did. budget went. So, um, for whatever reason, this radiation worker can't access the lift. I don't know why. Can I, can I please get on the lift and use it? The power's please. already on. I know. I'm... I, I like how, like, hundreds of years later, the, the exit sign hasn't changed. Okay, there we go. I have to hit the enter button and then hit down. To, that's how lifts work. Bro, they got fucking Luke Skywalker and Bart Simpson in there. <laughs> oh, Mark Hamill's in it? Yeah, Mark Hamill's in that movie. It's, he's like at the very, he's at the very end apparently. He does anything though. Well. That's true. Mark Hamill and uh, Patrick Stewart love doing voiceover. Right. So I think this area is, is instant death if we uh, if we go in here. Actually, let's find out. Hey, radiation worker, you want to go for a swim? Yep. Man, and I call myself the Messiah. So actually, I, I just noticed that uh, that if uh, if you if you're not the radiation worker, you go down here, you suddenly take damage. Shit. So yeah, if you're the baby. Yeah, if I if I if I'm just Bob, he's not a baby. He's an angel. <clears throat> sure, looks like we got a looks like we got a bot. Uh, yeah, I guess. Like, oh, what have you come famous? I don't want to become famous, not really. Alright. Another welder. This is some dirty ass looking water. Get some New York hot dog water. That, yeah, that's some Clinker's Cavern water right there. <laughs> this is as far as you go, half life. What? What? <laughs> so chill whatsoever. Half-Life? Wait, you can't say that. Damn it. Oh, you're behind a bit. <laughs> just, just, we warned you! Blah, 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 blah. I just got... Let me, uh... Let me, let me, uh, let me see, uh, speedrun records for this game. Oh, please do. If this game... <laughs> all, all five of them. <laughs> <laughs> this game's right, shaky yep. enough that there's probably some crazy speedrun strats. The last it's been updated was 2015. So that can't be good. Uh, there's only one person who's running the game, and it is one hour and 42 minutes at any, any percent. That sounds about He's right. Isn't there, like, an awful games done quick? Isn't that a thing? Uh, that's yeah. a block in, in uh, AGDQ. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a block. Damn, only one person cares about this game enough to run it consistently and get an hour 42 minute time. Look, wait, look at this wilder. What, look at this swag on him. <laughs> All right. I'm having a good day. 
You're gonna make you're gonna give make him have a bad day, Jack. What? Oh, <laughs> wait. what did you do to that nice guy? I was trying to get into the. I guess I guess they, they saw me do the body change. Change now. <laughs> I just want to get out of this radiation area. I remember when the uh, the Goku Black Arc was coming up and they were teasing posters for it. I remember being in the camp that actually secretly wanted it to be Captain Ginyu. Oh yeah, Captain Ginyu the, the, just... like took Goku's body. Yeah, I wanted Captain Ginyu to like come back in some big old redemption arc and have him be Goku Black. I, that, that's actually what I wanted, but no, that's not what we got. Nice. That would be, He's that'd still be a frog, cool. canonically, in like Bulma's garden, didn't he? I thought, I thought nope, in Super he came back, and uh... yeah, he did. In Super he, he came back, and it's it's weird, right? So this is the weird thing about the anime and the movie. In the movie Resurrection F, he's not present whatsoever. In the anime, the frog Ginyu shows up and freezes a uh, henchman to Goma. He is like uh, he's hunched down, he's kind of taken out, and then he stumbles upon the Ginyu frog. Ginyu Frog writes down a message in the dirt that translates to change now. And then Tagoma reads it, and Ginyu Frog transfers his body into Tagoma, and he, you know, he, he comes back. And, you know, they end up fighting him, and then he ends up getting killed. This thing's overheating here, I think I think he ends up getting killed. I don't remember the specifics, but yeah, he does come back in Super. Tenkaichi 3 coming eventually. It's all set and ready to go. All right, that'll probably. I wonder. Can I just parkour up there? Just like walk around them. Yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh. Oh. So when you get the, uh, when you do the Tenkaichi Three stream, is that just gonna be like versus stuff or? Yeah, we'll probably just do versus. Look around the game a little bit. Show off. Little bits of the story mode, maybe the what if sagas. Okay, I, I, I think I, I think I got this. And I know there's a lot of mods for Tenkai G3, so I might do a second stream if I can get those I, working. I don't know if I shared. No, I didn't share it. Uh, I saw an image that someone posted on Facebook. There is an active modding community for that game, and they essentially created a Tenkaichi Seven, I think, and it goes all the way up to the Moro arc. Oh, okay. The arc now. But can you play as Pope? Uh oh! I'm, I'm sure you can! I'm sure you can! F! <laughs> she punched me! Stop it! Oh no! <laughs> That's not good. Alright, let's try that again. Remember when we were talking to a guy about Bleach Abridged and all he kept bringing up was wanting to do a version of Mr. Popo? Yeah, that. That wasn't, uh. Just like, n not everybody needs to be Mr. Popo, as I think what we both agreed. That lady just being there. Alright. Well, you got up here. Can, I, I guess you can't. Like, you're not supposed to be back there. The hazard worker. No. I guess you can't, like, jump out or they'll see you. Oh, I don't want to kill her! Jack soft lock the game. <laughs> no, I didn't soft lock it. Uh, I think I think she actually respawns. Ah, uh, I might I might have to get a wrapper because I think this is one of those old games that's tied to the frame rate or like the clock speed, so people are like way more deadly than they ought to be. These people are these people are monsters. They're really gonna shoot a baby. <laughs> They have no faith. They see a, a baby with a, wings and a halo, and they're like, no, fuck it. It's gotta die. Maybe this is the Monster, Monster Girl Quest universe. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason they got rid of the faith. Maybe this is an Ilias baby. This is an Ilias. That's. The, I think Ilias or is any a JRPG. Deep God is usually the bad guy in any JRPG. Yeah, that's what they usually go for. Alright, let's try this. Go somewhere else. What the hell are you doing? Did it work? Nope! 
What the f- <laughs> Okay. Okay. Maybe it's because- Dormammu, I've come to bargain. I think it may be because my- my weapon is ready. If that makes any sense. Can you put it away? Yeah, I can. I Sorry, keep so forgetting to. This, this is an open sure. carry state. I like how they don't care that you're climbing up on these spaceship parts or whatever. Okay. There's only if you're in a few feet of them. Also, this guy looks a little bit like uh, Tag from Jet Set Radio. Oh, the 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 guy who I'm playing as the welder. Yeah. Okay. He's like gr grown up tag with a day job. Am I good? Okay, good. Alright, I'm gonna save. <laughs> nah, it's okay, I'm just your friendly neighborhood welder. You're not a half life, you're good. Oh, and Jack. Yes. You'll be happy to know that I was able to set up Thug Pro to have better controls so I, it doesn't mess with my reverts. Nice. All right, so their back is turned. Get this guy's back turned, and nice. What? I thought I was going there. Oh well, I'm a swag walk over this way. She looks like a Halo character. Uh, Commander, I've been hailing. We have chop yeah. activity in sector two. Got your men and report there immediately. People keep pointing out, I, I'm seeing people get really salty about the fact that Sephiroth was revealed slicing a deity in half, yet Master Chief was revealed via a corner store fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Kratos and Master Chief, now in Fortnite. Can't yeah. wait to see them floss together. Oh no, I, I'm not a radiation worker. What? What, what are you? I, I outrank you by 50 times. I'm a commander. Also, I like how they can see oh, the angel baby and shoot on sight, but not the halo. <laughs> the halo... Hey, that's Goku, what I, that's what what's with the halo? I died recently. Century-old strife continues between Father Prime's police force and the underground sewer dwellers known as the Chots. When Father Chots. Prime assumed power, a group of... Be gone, Chot! <laughs> I figured yeah. you would make that joke. Yeah, dying's not so bad. Hey, Krillin, you should try dying. Since the shots dropped. Since. Took to the underground the to resist his. Oh, okay. Since the shots dropped from mainstream society, they've been clashing with Father Prime's troops in an effort to overthrow him. They are an ally of your cause, but will not recognize you as such. Fear them. 100 years of living underground has changed them to something other than human. They fight with little provocation. They eat their own. Their goal is no longer visible in their poisoned minds. Only the means by which they set out to accomplish it so many years ago. You will meet them soon. Convince a commander to return to gate two. Okay. Convince. Convince. That, yeah, he's the coercer. That, that dainty little walk if you go sideways. What if Toys for Bob did a remake of this game? <laughs> well, it looked great. Of all the games need a re that need a remaster, probably this one. The concept doesn't seem that bad. Like, the, the way this game plays, like I said, it's got this very pseudo-puzzle-oriented kind of play style. It, it seems like a good concept on paper. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. It's a good concept. It's just that this game is, is very janky. Yeah. What about Croc? I wonder. Yeah, that that actually is a game that can use a comeback. That they, and Gex. They Croc remake and Croc and make it just play great. Yeah. Which Croc make did it, not. Make it play like a completely different game. Hey, Commander, do you care if I have a gun? Hey, guy, do you care? No? You don't care? All right. Cool. Thank you. Or, or you could make the dream come true and let the Croc guys make the Yoshi game they originally wanted to do. Have a 3D More Yoshi. Yeah. I was never a big fan of Gex, though. It always felt more about the jokes than the gameplay. Yeah, I mean... I, oh, that, crap. To me, that's partly why I like this kid. I guess the reason why I was attracted to this kid was probably because of, like, the spectacle of being able to go to, like, cartoon worlds 
movie world, and then just all the pop culture references. That's mainly the draw to it. I wasn't fascinated by the gameplay or anything. It's very one note. I never got anywhere in it. Did I get them all? Nope. What? The? Oh my god, that's uh, that looks. That sure was a bullet. Them's Matrix bullets. The post Matrix game. What came out? The... Wolf, I got him. Mid to 90s. The mid to 90s, you know, that era. <laughs> I, I think that's a real gun, guys. Wait, what? Oh no, more of them. Ah! Holly Shore's Biodome. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I just missed my jump. Oh, God. They're getting beating me. Hunchback and James and the Giant Peach for 96. Just a, this... That was a weird looking movie, James and the Giant Peach. I actually like that movie as that a kid. Was, it, wasn't that Claymation it, or something? Stop motion? Yeah. It... I think I think it was, it was a mix. Yeah. It was a mix. It was it was mostly live action, but it only turned into claymation stop motion when he went into the peach. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I didn't I... just like the movie. It was just kind of funny. It was weird. Yeah, looking. it was. It, it was a charming movie. Hold on, I think I have access to grenades. If I have access to grenades. This could be a game changer. All right. So, so what does this game have so far? It has God confirmed. It has Cyberpunk confirmed. It has mutant uh, underground uh, cannibals confirmed. Uh, wait, so that chances are the devil exists too. I looked up list of '90s movies, and the second one is showing me is Perfect Blue. Wait, it's perfectly yeah, in the 90s? Watching me. Yeah, oh. Who's was... watching everybody? I don't think Johnny Mnemonic. This element. Johnny Mnemonic. Come on. There we go. Possession. Oh. I was just thinking about what came out that might have uh, been trending to have inspired the Cyberpunk game. Besides Probably the Matrix. the Matrix. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost in the Shell was 90s. So, all right. Save often. Fear and loathing. Well, that was anti-establishment at least, right? Yeah. Down with the man. Fear and loathing. Stargate. Oh yeah, I remember Stargate. So I don't know. I was talking to someone earlier about a Crash Four. Have you? Or what's a? Uh... Have you seen much about Crash 4, Zarog? I'm avoiding it. Crash in time. I, I I found out something. Someone told me about uh, when it comes to completing the game. Oh, when it comes to getting alive. to 100%. Uh, okay. There is, when it comes to gems, apparently each level has like six gems to get. And there's hidden gems. There's There is backtracking, a lot of it. I know they float around like in Twin Sanity. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know if that's going to be like a turnoff point, or I don't know. I'll, I'll, I want to play it for myself to see how bad it is, but... Um, the original I mean, Crash games had gems that were just sitting there, but they were usually at the end of challenge paths or something. I saw a clip of what they were talking about, and they are very crudely hidden. I'm talking like they're in the background, like and you kind of have to... They're actually hidden in the background behind an object, and you kind of have to go out of your way to go behind this object and look for it. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Yeah. I'm waiting until it does release, which presumably for PC next October, which at which point I'll be playing it. Gotta love that timed exclusivity. Oh, there was a... You, you posted there was a hint at Spyro 4. Indeed, yeah. Interesting. Interesting thing. Yeah, there was a concept art from Crash 4. 
And at first glance, what it was, I didn't actually post the actual concept art in the Discord. I saw what the video said. The concept art showed a cityscape, and it was down at the very, very bottom. It was almost hidden. And they show a hologram of Spyro, and underneath it says Spyro with the number four, but it's kind of like cut off halfway, but it says Spyro 4 under it. So, yeah, it's a little hint at Spyro that, yeah, it, it's it's a potential thing. We might get a Spyro 4 made by the same guys. Which I guess would follow suit with what happened with the Insane Trilogy and the Reignited Trilogy. So I guess we're kind of just in this boat now. Whenever Crash does something, Spyro has to do it too. <laughs> Watching as the Jack dies repeatedly to Mr. Sniper. Yeah, this, this is the first boss of the game. Oh, What's a boss? <laughs> it might as well be. I keep dying to him as much as one. I guess you can tell by the fancy bullets. He's they firing. did use that effect in the Matrix, right? Yeah. Yeah, they the did. Air ripples. They did. Yeah, this this is very Matrix inspired. And then, yep. Yeah. When do we get Looks to cool the saving? Uh, when do we get to the saving Private Ryan chapter? When do we fight <laughs> the Great Mighty Pooh? Was there Matrix stuff in Gex? Uh, not really. That didn't work. Surprisingly, not. There was a lot of uh, in Gex. There was mostly uh, mostly wow. James. Mostly James Bond shit. Like, uh... Jack went there was, flying! <laughs> yeah, you there noticed was, that, uh, didn't you? They had horror movie references. They had, uh, you know, kung fu movie references. Not a lot of Matrix stuff, surprisingly. With Christopher B. Oh, I, I, damn it. So if I get- if I lose my body, I'm pretty much screwed. Because this uh, guy... smack him with your little baby fists. Yeah, all I can do is just point at him and go bang. <laughs> you can't possess him at all. Or you get, I, I can't get enough, close I enough. If I could get close enough, I could possess him. Here, I'm going to try something. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. The... Parts of the UI, mostly the, like, poses, look like they should be in a Dragon Ball game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right about that, actually. Alright, here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> he knocked me off the ledge! If I didn't fall off the ledge, I would've... Those bullets hit hard. Those aren't bullets, those are arrows. <laughs> oh. He's firing, essentially, a nail gun at me. Uh, I think somebody is doing, uh, is, uh, doing construction downstairs. I'm, my apologies. Alright. Hey, you got him. Now that he's... Got him! <laughs> now I got access to the rail. Nice. I want to make sure that... I think... Oh. Good start. Did I miss? Did I miss again? What the hell? These guys do not want to be possessed. All right, I I got this. I just need to I just need to get into a better position to attack him with. That's weird. He they he has he's able to hit a hit pinpoint accuracy. I get it and and it's not so much. Yeah, that's because you're a baby. <laughs> okay, I got two of them. Come on, you damn dirty shots. Come on, why can't you be like Stewie Griffin? He could he could use guns. Oh my god! Just, just pick up the gun. Come on. I... 
Were there any diehard games? There we go. Games? Are there any sure? diehard yeah, games? I, yeah, there are right. a few. Yeah. If I remember right, there was like one on the NES, wasn't there? We played the awful Home Alone NES games. There we go. Those are Christmas games, right? Or Elf Bowling. Oh, yep, yeah, that was a thing. That was a thing. Elf Bowling, yeah, my, uh... Yeah. We had that game. Yeah. Uh, what is... Is that a missile launcher? Th those look like an actual nail gun. I could have used this missile launcher this entire time. Idea for a game. A for, uh, like a, a, a versus shooter, but you're just employees in an office using office supplies. Oh, like I, one of the weapons is a stapler. Thought that that was already a thing. Here we go. Presently, Chots are invading Old Town. Prime's forces have evoked martial law, and riot gates block many routes through the city, bypass the gates, and reach the outskirts of traveling through the inner network of labs and officer quarters that connect to the outer streets. Don't no, know who this is, I, by the way. I think I like Jack 2 better. <laughs> yeah. What are some other Christmas themed games? Uh, Jack, have you seen Metal Gear Santa? No, I haven't. Is that where you sneak in and you and you deposit presents without being seen? It is correct. It is uh -oh. exactly what it sounds like. I uh -oh. think I, I think I've seen that. <laughs> oh no, it's the cops. One cop accidentally hit me into another cop. Cops, those are stormtroopers. There they are. They're, I'm them now. Hold on. I, I, could get, I gotta get my... Uh, they have hollow shields. Wait. Oh. Congratulations, your aim is Guys, much worse. <laughs> okay, so I got a, a flashbang as the secondary. So, for whatever reason... I, 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 the only weapon I'm allowed to have as a riot cop is a, is a bent pipe. Sure. Uh, can't go in here. Well, Alright. What was the line? No, no, those, bo those shocks are too accurate to be sand people or something? <laughs> those, those, sh yeah. the, the accuracy, too accurate to be sand people. Must be stormtroopers. <laughs> Just goes to show just how shitty sand people uh, accuracy is. If you know, you know what? If we ignore episode one, yeah. Hi, I'm a riot cop. Can you? What the hell? Oh, mo look, more shots. All right. I think maybe this is where we go up. <laughs> I like I like that. Imagine being Bob in this situation, and you're just like, and you're like, sit down, do this cyberpunk hellscape that is this world, and you're like, why do you want me down here? Kind of <laughs> reminds me of the Disney Hercules movie where he just kind of had Hercules sent down to Earth as a baby, and had to kind of journey himself into becoming a god again or some shit like that. Yeah, because because they tried to poison him. Find him. No, he was kidnapped. Yeah, yeah he was. Did they find him after the kidnapping and then they didn't want him back because he wasn't all god anymore? Yeah, no, they couldn't find him because he wasn't a god. Uh, Wait, why am I here? couldn't find him at all. What is... What is... Why did... Only commanders can operate this unit. Great. Hey, you want... Hey, commander, you want... You want me to... You want to help me out? No? Okay. I, I take it the baby can't pass through the blue field. Uh... No. I don't think so. I don't want to make that play. Oh, speaking of which, speaking, making a play, I gotta save. Here we go. Uh oh! I accidentally broke my legs. I should... <laughs> That's a thing you can do in this game.
Every, uh, by the way, I don't know if it's coming across on OBS, but every time I have to uh, load a save, it just quickly flashes back to uh... the house. Okay. Here, I told you I can't use my legs. I can't walk. Wait, it's just a bunch of grenades and stuff in here. Yeah, this riot, this riot cop is garbage. <laughs> he can't, do, he can't pick up other weapons. Can't do much of anything. This this game's got a lot of gall putting platforming in it. <laughs> the platforming itself isn't that bad. It's just that, well, because that looked that looked like a risky, <laughs> ugly jump there. What is the game with the worst platforming you can think of? Uh... Oh, man. Uh... Let's see. What's the game? Like, like any budget NES title, I would say. Yeah, Castle... As much as I love Castlevania, it's pretty bad with how precise you have to be. Like, you have to be pixel perfect with the jump sometimes. I'm trying to think of any 3D games. None immediately come to mind except like Bubsy. What? Yes. I don't like when I, when I think of 3D oh, platformers. I'm gonna be honest, and I don't. Hold wanna, on. It's gonna sound messed up, um, but I I gotta say Jack and Daxter. Can, can I'm we, not a fan of that double jump. Can we uh, can we uh, pause the stream for uh, for a little bit? Apparently, my brother is here, and I. Okay. I, I do, should we just stop? Stop for now. I mean, it's not like I'll be back in like in like 10 minutes. We can just take a take a little bit of a break. Okay. Sorry, I, 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 I didn't realize he would be here. Give me a sec. I'll, I'll be, I'll be back soon. It's a BRB. 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 I don't have the BRB thing. I'll just have to do this, and then, and then we'll be back in a sec. Alrighty.